And we are rolling for part three. Okay, it looks like our fudge is done. Almost. Uh, butter is melted. The cayenne is kind of swirled in. Uh, Vanilla is in there somewhere too. And temperature is about 110. I've sprayed that pan and I can't not follow, wait, did I say that right? I can't follow a recipe perfectly all the time. And anyway, who wants three pounds of just plain fudge? So I'm gonna do fudge three ways. We're gonna have cream cheese, and we're gonna have peanut butter. With these, I'm gonna put them in the microwave. Oh, that's what's left of a cake. That was a store-bought, and Tracy's birthday is coming up on April Fool's Day. So those are going to go in the microwave. I'm going to start 30 seconds. I just want them to melt so I can pour it out onto it. This, the instructions say, beat up now until it loses its sheen. So we really are going to fold all that stuff in and mix this together. I guess, I'm not sure why it said leave the butter, but maybe it was to melt at first and let it seep in bond i don't know but this is looking pretty good so it's kind of it's almost looking like brownie batter but so much smoother and those are not quite done yet i'm gonna stick it for another 30 seconds all right that's incorporated well now the way i'm gonna combine these flavors drizzling it on top and then just kind of swirling it in with a small knife. And you can see that. That's a pretty good pour right there. And I'm not wasting any of this. Get down, get down. Oh, that would be a thick hunk of fudge. Now I guess if I had wanted to remove the fudge, I could have lined it with like wax paper or something. But this is gonna work just fine. And you could put anything inside of that. Coconut, M&M's, crumble up some cookies. Ooh, I believe the cream cheese isn't gonna get any smoother than that. It's just nice and hot now. And very hot. And the butter, yeah, I can pour that. You don't have to use it all. Maybe I'll put the butter in just a little bit more. Cream cheese, we'll start with that one. All right, now that fudge looks beautiful. Mm. I'm thinking, I'll just kind of put some down the side. Now it doesn't really matter what this looks like. We just want to kind of get it evenly through a strip of this. And our peanut butter should be easy to work with now. Yeah, it's a little bit more what we're looking for. So this one, I'm not even going to have to use the knife. You just drizzle it on. And I'm going to leave a strip through the middle. that is for just plain dark chocolate fudge. Mm. I didn't add any sugar to either the peanut butter or the whipped cream, or the, I'm sorry, the cream cheese. I'm going to try to mix that in a little bit. Gonna be a little chunks of cheese. This is gonna almost be like I'm gonna call this the uh, cheesecake fudge. So you'll have a nice little cheesy chunk in there, and then I'll just kind of bring that richness of the chocolate, make it kind of taste like cheesecake. Mm -hmm. 
That chocolate is good. And then we'll do the same thing with the peanut butter. I want to get this down inside, but I don't want it to go too far out. You can almost do, uh, almost like the uh, designs they do in coffees. This is, it is seeping over there. I don't think that's gonna matter. It's all gonna taste good. Seems like I can just kind of pull it back. All right, I might be having too much fun with this. Oh, you can write in it. All right. There we go. Sign my name. That is done. Uh, stick it in a cool place. My, or, uh, stick it in the microwave. Leave it there. Stick it in the refrigerator. It'll cool faster. Uh, this is done. I'm not going to tell you how it tastes. You're going to have to make it on your own. It's really that easy. It really it took about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes, but it was a lot of downtime. I had time to have a few smoke breaks. And I want to thank Patty Bills Mahoney, my cousin, for posting that recipe. Uh, I hope I did it justice. And I want to say thank you all. Everybody be safe out there. Much love. John Bills.